While Learjet remains a big nervous question mark, that's not the case on the other side of town. Over at Beach Aircraft, a dream became reality. Beach rolled out its first full-size model, the new Starship One. KSN's Dave Brinkers reports on the next generation at Beach. It was only a dream in 1980, but the first production line model of the Starship One became reality today. Beach bosses and workers were beaming. It's been a long time, but it was a lot of fun. It sure looks nice, doesn't it? But looks aren't everything. The Starship's costing an estimated $250 million to develop. It's the first all-composite business airplane. There's no metal in the body. When KSN News exclusively reported on the first flight of the 85% scale model of the plane, there were plenty of skeptics, still are. With the Starship, Beach Aircraft broke its once conservative mold. Today was not only a major step in the evolution of an airplane, it's also a major step in the evolution of a company. In a few weeks, this airplane will make its maiden flight. Then we will commit our full resources to the flight testing phase of the certification process. And that is where this man comes in. Well, I think it's very pretty. <laughs> But you're interested on what's on the inside and what it does, aren't you? It, it looked like a very good airplane. I hope we find it as good as it looks. Maybe it'll fly, but the next question, will they buy, should be answered when the Starship hits the market about 18 months from now. Dave Brinkers, KSN News Center. As Learjet lingers, Wichita's Beach Aircraft is wasting little time getting its new Starship One on the market. Beach workers were bursting their buttons as the first full-size production line plane rolled off the line. I've been around Beach a long time, and, uh, and this program has been the most exciting program I've ever worked on. It's probably the most expensive, too. Development cost for the all-composite pusher prop plane is $250 million. Beach's future is riding on a new wave of high-tech aircraft. Starship has meant over 1,000 jobs for Wichita residents in the past few years. And we expect employment on the program to grow in the years to come. An 85% scale model has been flying for two years. The first flight of the full-size plane is expected in March, with the first delivery set for 1987. Today was the day for Beach Aircraft to blow its own horn. The company has a new airplane on the market. It's got a new high-tech look with a new high price. Vince Patton attended today's rollout of Beechcraft's first Starship One. Friday, Beach Aircraft workers tried to put the airline recession out of their minds. It was time to christen a firstborn, so to speak. Good, good. Yeah, I Starship is the infant of the industry and beach brass are virtually staking the company's future on it. We have five years now of slump, and we keep hoping it'll turn around. Uh, we're hopeful this aircraft, which is such a unique design, capable of flying at 41,000 feet and 400 miles an hour, with a cabin the size of a jet that would cost twice what it costs, uh, may help to change that. With any luck, it just might. Beach has already sold enough starships ahead of time to keep them busy in production for one and a half years. Uh, this is obviously going to be the largest, fastest uh, uh, turboprop aircraft in the, in the country, in the world that we're aware of. State leaders like Senator Nancy Kassebaum and Attorney General Bob Steffen attended the grand rollout, as well as the more than 1,000 beach employees who worked on the craft. I tell you what, it's a real good feeling to see that you're as part of such a, a ship like this, you know. It just it gets you down here in the heart, I guess, to get back and look at it. It's pretty neat. So if you have three and a half million dollars to spend, the highest tech business plane in the world can be yours. Vince Patton, Cake News. But that is a good feeling to see that ship. Pretty ship. Starship One stayed on the ground today. Beach will take it up for its maiden flight in another couple of weeks. The folks at Beach Aircraft say today was the biggest event in a decade for the company. After 2,000 man years of work, the first full-scale model of Beach's new Starship One rolled out of the hangar to cheers and applause. Beach plans to charge three and a half million dollars per airplane and have already sold enough ahead of time to keep production going for a year and a half. Beach hopes Starship will be the answer to the airline depression. Uh, five years now of slump and I, we keep hoping it'll turn around. Uh, we're hopeful this aircraft, which is such a unique design, capable of flying at 41,000 feet and 400 miles an hour, with a cabin the size of a jet that would cost twice what it costs, uh, may help to change that. After today's rollout, Beach rolled the Starship right back into the hangar. The new plane should make its maiden flight in another week or so.
It was a monumental day for Beach Aircraft today as it rolled out its newest airplane. In front of about 1,500 people, Beach presented the first full-size Starship One composite airplane. This first prototype will be attested to prove that the design and material are safe. About 1,000 people currently are working on the Starship in Wichita. The plane is expected to be certified this year, with customer deliveries of the $3.5 million plane will begin in mid-1987. We'll have more on the rollout at 6 o'clock. Big day at another big local company. More than seven years of dreams and work at Beach Aircraft came to reality today. The airplane maker rolled out the first full-size Starship One composite plane. John Funches was there, and he tells us the Starship will determine the company's future. Since 1983, Beach Aircraft has been flying this 85% scale model of the Starship One for test and demonstration purposes. But today, the first full-size plane rolled out at Beach in front of about 1,500 people. This prototype will not fly for another month and a half when all the work on the plane is finished. However, as mentioned in an earlier speech, the Starship means a lot to Beach and Kansas. The benefits go beyond Beach aircraft. Starship will also bring significant benefits to the greater Wichita area and the state of Kansas. Starship has meant over 1,000 jobs for Wichita residents in the past few years. And we expect employment on the program to grow in the years to come. This Starship prototype represents years of hard work and a large risk by Beach, but the plane is a year behind its first announced schedule. However, to the employees working on the plane, the hard work was worth it. It was kind of pretty. <laughs> this first prototype, along with five others, will be used to prove the plane to the FAA. Beach officials, though, say they already have orders for the first one and a half years of production. The price tag for a Starship? About three and a half million dollars. Beach has already spent what is equivalent to 2,000 man years of effort in getting the Starship One to its present state. The plane is expected to be certified by the end of this year, and customer deliveries will begin in the summer of 1987. John Funches, Eyewitness News at the Beach Plant in Wichita. In plane talk tonight, Gates Learjet may not know whether it wants to stay in Wichita or not, but Beach Aircraft says without the air capital, it could have never gotten to where it is. Aviation reporter John Funches reports on today's rollout of the company's new high-tech airplane, the Starship One. Years of hard work and risk culminated in the rollout of the first full-scale prototype of Beach Aircraft Starship One. The composite material, pusher-configured airplane, represents the leading edge in business aviation and a chance for Beach to pull out of the aviation slump. Beach is owned by the Raytheon Company. I got such a beautiful aircraft, and it was completed in such a short time that it gives me a great deal of pride to be associated with Beach. Beach says it has about a year and a half of production for the Starship Soul. The project has employed roughly a thousand people. And in light of Gates Learjet's indecision on where to build airplanes, Beach thinks Wichita is the place to be. Wichita and Cedric County have provided Beach with a positive business atmosphere. I would like to thank those of you in the audience who played a role in helping create this favorable business climate. I believe your faith in Beach Aircraft Corporation is being rewarded and benefits return to our community. During the next year, prototypes like this one will prove to the FAA that the design is safe. During the same year, changes in corporate tax laws will also help prove how many more companies will be able to afford one of the $3.5 million airplanes. John Funches, Eyewitness News at the Beach Plant, Wichita.